Hello, now apologies to anybody who might find this video like a boring subject matter, I guess just don't watch it then, but this is one of the questions I get asked a lot and I think I've answered it in other videos but I specifically wanted to do one sort of in the title of the video to explain it. And this is how a gas mask or respirator can and cannot protect you from radiation. I've definitely covered it in videos before but it gets asked a lot so hopefully maybe people stumble across this video rather than asking it and other things. So basically a mask can and cannot protect you from ionising radiation. It depends on the type of radiation and how it's basically going to enter your body. The primary way a mask can protect you is through the filter, basically filtering out particulates of, um, you know, radiation emitting sources like fallout dust basically, so contaminated dust and stuff like that. The filter basically it clogs in the filter, it prevents you inhaling it Therefore, you're not getting, um, you know, into your eyes with these bits, you know, it's not getting basically in. If you didn't have a mask on at all, basically you'd be breathing in and getting, you know, fallout dust landing on you. So the point is that if you have a mask on an NBC gear, it's easier to decontaminate and, you know, hopefully you've not inhaled anything or it's greatly reduced the amount of stuff you've inhaled because the filter there has prevented you from doing it. So basically, when, you know, you get... Um, decontaminated, you can basically strip the stuff off, be hosed down, and then you're not going to, you know, be covered in horrible radioactive dust. So that's how it does protect you. Now, when it comes to alpha, beta, and gamma radiation and neutrons, um, basically, a mask will definitely protect you from alpha radiation, because as far as I'm aware, there are no masks so thin that alpha will be able to penetrate them. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what the eye shields are made out of, plastic, polycarbonates, you know, glass, whatever, alpha radiation is not going to get through that or get through the rubber. Um, when it comes to beta radiation, the thicker the rubber on the mask might stop some beta. Um, I've done tests where I've put Geiger counters behind a mask, put strontium-90 in front a few times, and I found with those typically glass is much better at preventing beta radiation getting through than modern plastic lenses, um, just because I guess it's denser. Um, and obviously thicker rubber masks work better than thinner rubber masks, but you know, it, a gas mask on your face will cut down the amount of beta radiation getting through. It certainly won't eliminate the risk of beta radiation penetrating through. Um, I would say apparently, you know, having lenses in front of your eyes does reduce the risk of developing cataracts later from exposure to beta radiation. But again, you don't really want to be around it. Now, against gamma radiation neutrons, a mask will do absolutely nothing. Uh, just simply because gamma rays are very ionising, you know, and very penetrative, so they just go straight through everything. So, the answer to the question is basically, it makes it much easier to decontaminate primarily, and it, you know, will stop alpha radiation hitting your face, it will lower the amount of beta radiation getting through, and most masks quite do anything against gamma. There'd be certain types of radioactive gases that probably will penetrate a filter, I think that's why there are specific reactor filters for re radioactive iodine gas. Um, I believe they have to basically make a specialist type of filters to block that. But for the most part, combination, you know, filters or particle filters will basically block you inhaling lots of sort of fallout contaminated dust type things, you know, ash, smoke, that kind of thing. But yeah, that is how basically a gas mask can protect you from radiation, but bear in mind in lots of ways it can't.